Hi, I'm Dan Walker. I'm the Chief Human Resources Officer. I'm Amy Powell, Benefits Manager. We work in the construction industry. Notoriously, men dominate that environment, but that doesn't need to be the case. We are very interested in building our leadership and increasing the number of women who work for us. In addition to that, we have focused on providing opportunities for women to grow their careers in the company. Amy's been with the company for over 11 years and in this role for, for six of those years. She oversees a very large retirement plan and a very large benefits plan for 4,800 employees. And she has authority to operate and to set her goals, deliver those results. So Amy, what has your experience been over these several years working in a male-dominated construction industry? In this current assignment, I I've, I've was promoted into it and felt like I maybe didn't know what I needed to know. I appreciated the, the faith that the company had in me and my boss had in me to promote me to that position, but felt unequal to the task. And that's um, some of the things that I learned in the Women's Leadership Institute have grown my confidence. It's grown my knowledge and helped me to know when to speak up for myself and when to advocate for others and how to go about doing that with respect. So Dan, I know I approached you about attending this career development series. What enticed you to send me to that and what enticed you to help me learn and grow by going to that? I wanted you to have an opportunity, I think and you, it, you said it already, to to gain your voice, um, which I think you had somewhat, but now I see it even more. Your ability to share your thoughts and opinions and then do it in a way that's agreeable, that's really uh, brought value to our team. Dan, now that I've completed the career development series, have there been any ways that you've seen me grow? And confidence breeds competency. I've seen you feel more confident in your role uh, because of that, it helps you see the bigger picture. And by doing that, you're able to look out there and see what needs to be done in protecting the company, particularly where we deal with so many compliance types of issues. I've also seen uh, you speaking up more from a competency perspective. And I think that that competency was always there, but that the Women's Leadership Institute has helped you strengthen your confidence in speaking up from a competency perspective. Uh, so graduation was really fun, and we had a couple of people from our company, and um, our, our mentors that had come with us had a little bit teased us that they were going to cheer and be a little bit raucous when uh, we were walking across the stage. I didn't quite believe it till it happened, um, but it was great knowing that they were there behind us, behind the scenes helping us and cheering us on. It was an amazing experience. One of the things I remember was one of the women got up and talked about how before she went through the career development series, she would have never stood up and made the comments that she did. It's clear that that program engenders confidence in leadership skills that are already there. They just need to blossom. Naturally, as a career progression, I think I had seen myself um, as a manager, as that type of a leader, um, but I don't think I saw it go any further than that. Um, now I see it going further than that, um, that I do have it in me and the potential to be bigger and better. And even if I don't, I have the ability to bring others up with me. When I was newly hired into the company, I had a boss that took that, that mentor role and brought me with her and showed me the way. And because of that, I've always tried to pay it forward to someone working with me or along with me. I do enjoy making sure that they know that they have the exact same abilities and that I have and that they can progress and do great things. I'm in the the twilight of my career and nothing brings me more joy than to be to be able to hand off the reins of leading an organization. Um, I have absolutely every confidence that Amy's in a position now, was before, but is even stronger now because of this experience and being able to, when I'm not there, to lead this organization and to make the kind of decisions 
that will benefit our employees and our participants in our plans. I would say, uh, b being an officer in the company, that first, the executive team has to believe in its workforce and it has to believe, particularly where we're in construction, that women can and should play a key role, that women can do anything that men can do in any of those roles that they want to, and that we need to strategically organize ourselves to drive in that direction and to hold our managers accountable when we're hiring and when we're promoting to give women every opportunity to grow in every area that they want to and choose to do. I have worked for females most of my career and have great admiration and respect. I just don't see male and female. I just see leadership and competency. Um, nothing would make me happier as a chief human resources officer of our company to see half our executive team be female. And that's what we're trying to do is, is create opportunity and then work hard and focus on making that happen every day.